Hey Russell fam, today I am going to show you lesson one of Saxon Math, level K. Russell fam today we are doing lesson one and it is the first lesson in September well actually it is because uh, today is September the 30th we are doing uh, we start school a little different we go from the end of September to the end of July so what we have to do is pretty much here it tells you in bold what you're supposed to say and then what you're supposed to do so we have taken our meeting book which is this It says home, uh, home study meeting book. And then you open it up to the first page, which here it says this is September. All right. This is called a calendar. We use a calendar to tell us the months, okay. years, days of the week, and the date. Okay. So the month is what? September. September. And it's, it's two. 2009. 19, that's 19. the date. Okay. I mean, that, that's the year. And then we come down here to the date. That's, it's the 30th. Which is the 30th. So let's say our, <laughs> say our days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh-huh. And so today is what? Monday. Sunday. What was yesterday? Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday. So if today was, today is the 30th, yesterday's date would be the 29th, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and according to the back of our meeting book, our calendar over here, we are supposed to alternate. The kids are going to color each day. So we are in September, so we would do light green and orange, but we're not going to do that today because we start tomorrow is October. So the colors we'll be alternating then will be orange and brown. And what they do is once you put the date in, the kids would color one square, one color, and then they would color the next one the next, and you would keep alternating all the way through. So that is what we're doing with our calendar, and it tells us that over here in our meeting book. It says the meeting, and that's what you do, and I read everything down through here. And then you come over here to the lesson, and today we are going to be talking about pattern blocks. All right, and so we have our bag of pattern blocks right here. All right, so we are going to put some of our pattern blocks on the table. All right, that gives us a good selection of them. All right. And it says, what can you tell me about the pattern blocks, Becca? Well, every one is different. Like one is red, one is yellow, one is brown, one is... Mm -hmm. They're all different colors and shapes, right? It is orange. That is orange. All right. So, I'm going to give you some pattern blocks. Use the pattern blocks to make something. This is, you're going to allow five to ten minutes for your child to do this. And uh, you will use the pattern blocks again, and we'll use these pattern blocks every day. And you can go to the back of the pattern blocks, and it talks about the shapes, and then it tells you what color you're going to color each pattern block. And if you see, we have the Saxon pattern blocks, and they match because it tells you to color the hexagon yellow. Well, the hexagon is already yellow. It says trapezoid red, which is red. Sissy, can you get me the rhombus that is tan? There you go. Can you get me the parallel parallelogram, which is blue? 
This one's a parallelogram. Sometimes the color helps. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you find me a square? What color is the square? Orange. Orange. And see, it tells us it's orange. Now, can you find me a triangle? What color is the triangle? Green. Green. So see, our pattern blocks go exactly with our Saxon here. So that is pretty much all of lesson one for the day. We're just going to let her sit there and play with them, and then we'll color them so they match. And then you just move on to lesson two. I hope you enjoyed this video. Whoop. Have a great day. Bye.